morning guys welcome back to the channel I'm back here at English Electric today I'm taking out the Energica Ribali 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 oh, naked version basically initial feeling it's a uh, a lot higher than that SRS was. I believe it's ready to go. No, just start it. They so break in. Right, go. Ready to go. Right, let's see what this is like then. So after riding the uh, SRS, my initial initial feeling towards this one is actually feel I'm leaning over quite a bit more. Um, the tank, if it is a tank, is a lot bigger than the SRS was, so my legs are a little bit more splayed out, shall we say, and it's a lot more noisy than the SRS. Oh, a lot noisier. It's just a little bit weird when you stop, obviously no noise, no engine, just twist the throttle and go. Obviously comparing to the SRS, that I last rode from uh, English Electric. These uh, mirrors are obviously in a normal standard position, if you like, and I can sort of see more out of them. So this Energica is definitely less comfortable than the SRS was. I mean, this seat feels quite, well, it feels really hard, if I'm honest. And it does feel a bit more sporty, i.e. the suspension's a little less forgiving, so to speak. I'm not 100% sure I really like the uh, seam position this either. But it is early days, so um, we shall give it, a, give it a chance. So because this is the uh, Energica, this has the option of being able to charge it uh, within sort of 20 minutes. But to be fair, that is if you're between sort of 20 and 80%. this picks up a lot quicker than the SRS did so since my last video if you have seen any of the um, videos that T put one done this is the actual bike he took on his uh, tour his little sort of four point tour where it was called um, I indicate around it all the time I don't need to nationals Jesus Christ Yeah, so I do think this is, it feels a little bit quicker than the SRS. I mean, don't get me wrong, the SRS was no slouch, that was rapid. But I do think this has a little bit more pull. It's definitely noisier, especially uh, coming to the brakes. is rapid that is so so quick I'm indicate was still on so like I said in my last video with the uh, SRS this has the option for the fast charge so when it's sort of the, between the 20 and 80 percent plug it in um, and 20 minutes later you're back up to 80 percent and that's probably sort of the, the best capability of the battery if you like I mean, don't not get me wrong, I am no expert in electric bikes. This is only ever the second electric bike I've ridden. But because I enjoyed the SRS so much, I couldn't let... I couldn't just ignore the Energica. I don't know too much about this Energica, to be honest. I'll put all the uh, facts and figures up on the screen for you there. Um, but from what the guy was telling me, He's done 200 miles on one of these bikes and obviously only had, to, only had to charge up once. So, you know, it has a better option, I suppose, if you want to go longer distances. And he said it takes about 20 minutes to charge it up. Nationals. Oh my god. <laughs> I tell you, you just. 
you just can't get over how fast they accelerate and it's just a constant pull unlike obviously on your conventional bike where you have your gears and this is just all that throttle and away you go I mean look, 6 to an hour oh, front end come up <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what you can have so much fun on an electric bike so why have I took out another electric bike considering on my last video I made at the beginning I was like I just can't see me ever having an electric bike I'm still not considering buying one but the fun I had on the SRS I just felt I was I needed to take the Nadeka out and see the difference between the two and I'm, I, I, to be honest they are two very very different bikes I felt the SRS was a more of a um, more of a friendly bike shall we say a bit more comfortable um, a lot lighter this is actually quite heavy because considering I think I would have missed out if I hadn't have gone out and test road this as well I'll tell you what I would have definitely missed out if I hadn't have give this a go oh, the grunt this has got is unbelievable oh I don't need to I haven't got a clutch have I don't really want to get on the inside of him because he'll squish me why? why? why would you do that? yeah I mean I'll be honest it handles really really well um, again, just like the uh, Zero, there is literally no effort into cornering it. It is done very, very easily. I think it's funny to pull over and uh, do a little walk around with you. I could be wrong. Make sure I'm part if I need to. Nope, wrong one. No, wrong one again. Right. Come back here and have a little walk around, shall we? Oh. If I can find a percent size down this one. So guys, this is the Energica Re Rebelli, Rebali, Re I'm not really sure what they want to call it to be honest. Um, it's a very much a naked style electric bike. As you can see it's uh, quite an aggressive stance to it. The difference between this one and the SRS, well, first of all, it's chain driven. An electric bike that's chain driven. Also, obviously, the styling is very, very different. I don't know too much about this bike. Um, very much a last-minute jump on and give it a ride. But I, like I said, I'll put these stats and figures up on the screen for you on this bike. Things I found with it. Uh, it's very... Um, quite an aggressive riding style. The... the uh, the tank, if you like the tank, what you want to call it, um, that is um, your legs sort of fit underneath it quite nicely. But I do find it a little bit uncomfortable, especially compared to the SRS. Um, suspension's a lot firmer as well. I mean, this is running the. I mean, this one is running the. Um, is it bit bit turbo, by the turbo whatever? I'll be honest, I'm not really up on suspension I've never heard of that um, the front though has the uh, Mazaki front forks and Brembo front brakes they are pretty damn good as you'd expect to be honest but um yeah it's uh it's still good fun I really really enjoy riding the electric bikes anyway now a little bit of a walk round let's uh jump back on her and give her another go I can see this seat is um it's quite an aggressive seat really isn't it 
I really do like the look of the bike. I mean, it's a really nice looking bike. Oh, one of the obvious things that's different to this one to the SRS is one, the side stand is a <laughs> bit of a pain to get to. Oh, um, also the seat height is a lot higher. Um, I'll put that up on the screen as well. Um, on this one, my I'm sort of more on my balls on my feet. I can flat foot it if I lean forward, but it's not a comfortable position to be honest. To be honest. Same as the SRS. Turn the ignition on. Nice little dashboard. We have the Energica. It's put in the front brake and like a typical, if you like, start switch. And then you get the little go down there. And uh, and that's it. Away you go. Still very strange to have no noise. Well, let's go. Oh, front ends come up. Wait. Yeah, these electric bikes, they are so quick. I think that's the sort of the big pull towards electric bikes is they are very, very fast on acceleration. It's interesting, in fact, I didn't know about the electric bikes though. They have a uh, reverse gear. So I'm not really sure how to put it in reverse gear. He did um, sh show me but I forgot to be honest. He pushed something on the dashboard and it literally sort of a, a creep reverse gear. That's the same on the um, the SRS, the Zero SRS. They've both got like reverse gears to make it a little bit easier. Not that I really feel that the SRS needed it to be honest. I mean, that was actually a really easy bike to move around. This one is a little bit heavier. Um, and I've definitely found that moving around is a little bit heavier. And like I said earlier, it's a lot noisier. But I do think it is quicker. If I have to go down the route of getting an electric bike, I don't think I'd be that bothered about it like I thought I would be before I ever an electric bike. Because they're just so much fun and I'm really really hoping that in this in that you know, five in that sort of 10 15 year time frame that they've been given i'm really hoping the infrastructure is there and you know the, the charging of the bikes is a lot quicker because that, like, like i said they're, they're my biggest problems they're my biggest issues with electric bikes is the fact that it takes so long to charge up i mean if i want to take this out for a day riding you know i'd have to consider where I'm going to be able to fill up. I can't just go to a petrol station and fill up because not all petrol stations have the capability of doing it. One thing I have found about the electric bikes is if you don't keep an eye on your speed, you will easily break in the speed limit. Completely unintentional. I mean, there's a few times I've been riding along recently and I haven't been really paying any attention. I've been sort of doing not city speeds, but on a 60 mile an hour road, like I've been creeping up towards 70 and I haven't even realised. So. Yeah, with an electric bike, you've really got to keep an eye on your speedo. I think because you haven't got the noise of an engine to listen to, yeah, it just makes it a little bit too simple to break the speed limit on them. I mean, other than the fact having a bit of a play, I think I've had to choose between the Zero and the Energy car. For me, I think it's the Zero I'll go for. But the Zero I rode was like the you know, sports touring version, if you like. They do have a naked version of it. So I'm just wondering if that for me would be the better option. Listen to me, it's not like I'm looking at buying one. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not looking at buying one. I'm just, you know, you know, just thinking. I let it go down there, didn't I? That's why they went wrong, went wrong last time. Right, zero. No, energy car. Ha ha ha. Zero on the miles per hour. Let's see what this can do. Oh, the front ends up! Hey, fucking Jesus Christ! <laughs> wow. Yeah, this has got <laughs> this has got some grunt. Oh, and that is again so addictive, just like on the SRS. Yeah, I could have some really good fun on these bikes. Only thing is, when they run out of juice, I'd be knackered. Uh, 
electric, way electric base. How sad is that? I want an electric bike, I feel like electric base, yeah. Sad. Now I'm going to sound really immature now, I mean, I, I just did, but being an electric bike, obviously, when you come to junction and stuff, you know, some of us, not all of us, but some of us like to give a bit of a blip on the old throttle, or when you're downshifting, blip on the throttle, have that nice sound of the engine and the exhaust, and I am kind of missing that on these electric bikes. You can't really do that because you blip the throttle, well, <laughs> you'll, be, you'll, be up, you'll be off the back of the bike. Should, should we try and blip it? Oh, there we go. That's what I mean. That's exactly what I'm saying. Blip. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you can't really do that with the electric bike. So this is the really bumpy road that I uh, came in on. Let's see how this bike handles it. Jesus. Okay. Yep. It don't handle it well at all. Oh, neither am I. Oh dear, that's tight. Oh, that is tight. Oh, not for me though. I think. Yeah, these brakes are pretty decent, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't get a photo of this one, did I? Schoolboy error. Nice background, let's get some nice background photo. Right, see this is a problem, is knowing where the centre, I mean I know you get used to it, but the centre stand is not uh, the easiest to find this one. The SRS was a lot, lot easier. Right, photo time. Oh, ah. Oh. All right. Ready? Are we going? Are we good to go? No. What's going on here? We just switch yourself off. No. Wait. Here we go. Here we go. We're away. Let's go. Right. We can find uh, English Electric again. So now I've rode two different electric bikes, completely different to each other. What one would I choose? That would be quite a hard decision, if I'm honest. If I had to have no other bike other than an electric bike, I would probably go down the SRS Zero. But if I was lucky enough to have a normal combustion engine motorcycle and an electric, I think I would probably go for this. Just because I feel that the electric bikes are really, really great fun for a nice Sunday blast or a shorter trip, if you like. I'd probably go down the route with one of these. But if I was going down the route of only having one bike, it would probably be the SRS. Would I get rid of my combustion engines just purely to have an electric bike? Went for the clutch again. <laughs> um, no. No. Not at all. No worries, bud. Um, right this second, like I said in my last video, the infrastructure's not there to own only an electric motorcycle, in my opinion, anyway. I don't want to have to go out and have to sort of plan my stops and I just want to be able to go ride, find a petrol station, two minutes job done. Off I go again with the electric bikes, you know, you, you're going to have to plan your stops, know where all your charging points are. Yeah, so, but as a second bike, if I was going down the route of having another, having sort of two bikes again, and they weren't so bloody expensive, an electric bike would definitely be an option. Anyway guys, thank you very very much for watching. And I shall Ah oh, doggy! Hi buddy. Hi. Hi. 
you give me a stone? You want me to throw a stone? Uh, okay. Um, it's only a stone, bud. Uh, don't swallow it. <laughs> oh. Oh my days. <laughs> How random is this? Oh, I dropped it. Alright, I need to put the spike back. Anyway, thank you very much for guys for watching and I'll Oh, I'm gonna carry on playing with the dog. And I'll see you <laughs> on the next one. From me and the doggy. Catch you later. <laughs>